everyone deserves a second chance. We do not all have the privilege to grow up in a safe environment where we are nurtured and guided to become successful individuals. I will never know what it's like, so I can't judge someone who has walked down a different path and was dealt a different hand of cards than mine. Every time I come back to San Quentin, I'm inspired. So many men have turned their lives around and are completely different than who they were 10, 20, 30 years ago. This was my third time visiting and second time performing for about 350 inmates in the chapel. I was joined by Maserati, Jazzy, JC, who was incarcerated the first time I met him and was released a few months ago. My bass player, Brian Rogers, and producer, singer, rapper, Ryan Leslie. When I was performing, it was hard not to get emotional because I knew that I was taking them on a journey and freeing them from these walls. It brought me so much joy to look out and see the guys dancing and clapping and singing along to my music because I knew they needed it and deserved to be loved. Some of these men have never even been to a concert before. They have been in the system since they were boys in juvenile hall, never even getting an opportunity to be an active part of society. I was invited by Chris Redlitz and Beverly Parenti, who started The Last Mile. This program prepares inmates for re-entry into the workforce by training them with entrepreneurial skills as well as teaching them how to code, since software engineers are highly sought after. This is breaking the vicious cycle of returning to prison and people are successfully being hired or starting their own companies. It's truly making a difference. You can see a new hope and motivation in their eyes when they present their ideas and projects on Demo Day. There's an undeniable energy that everyone taps into and it's a beautiful, powerful, emotional experience. I now look at these men as my brothers, and if you got a chance to know them, you'd be rooting for them too. <laughs>